So now we have our no grill grilled chicken. Um, so what's cool about this is that we can do it in a grill pan or someone could do it in a gas grill, but it's going to have actual smoky flavor. So what I did is I marinated it overnight in a vinegar and lemon juice and oil based marinade. And then I put a dry rub on it. This dry rub is important because it draws out moisture to the surface and it also brings with it water soluble proteins. These proteins, they'll help it brown in our grill pan, but they will also act like Velcro for the smoke. Um, so it'll kind of latch on. That's why you have dry rubs on barbecued food. I am going to use hickory for it. Um, maybe I'll use a little mesquite, I don't know. Um, but I want something that's a little bit stronger because the chicken in this case, with all these flavors, it can definitely take it. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to do all of it at once. So I'm gonna do it in two, maybe three batches, depending on how much there is. So you wanna hear that nice, loud sizzle. Yeah, we have a dog in the background, but don't mind that. It's the Malouin household. Um, so I'm going to oil the rest of the pan up. Then I'll flip them over. So it's very important that we have those grill marks because it's as much about presentation as it is about taste. Come on. Okay, so we're gonna let those cook for a little bit longer. I'm hungry, it's lunchtime. So we have cooked all of the chicken. We had to actually do three batches, but alas, we have our result. So I'm going to go with a slightly stronger hickory and mesquite little bit of each, just like I, what I did before, but with the uh, apple and cherry. And again, I have to fill it up a good portion of the way because it's a big area. And I can assure, I can assure you, because I um, did some quality testing, the chicken's fine on its own. Um, but I think it will be improved by the smoke. This also is going to take a little bit longer to smoke because it is much greater amount of food and also the food itself is thicker. So we are going to let it smoke for 15 more seconds and then we can eat. Never gets old, does it? <laughs> Let's try this one. That one looks good, doesn't it? Very good. So our long overnight marinade has paid dividends because it is very moist, even though it was cooked very hot. And also, has the benefit of the acid making it very tender. You can taste the smoke, it makes it taste like it came off of a charcoal barbecue. Um, so I think that if you served something that was done on a charcoal barbecue and this next to each other, a lot of people would not be able to tell the difference.